Today we are going to be building gaming setups from Walmart and Target to determine. Have you been missing out on those always low prices? Or are you right on target for your next gaming deal? Thankfully, we're here in our brand new office, which is going to be mostly demolished here in about two days time. The demolition is already beginning. I don't have to worry about making a mess in here. Look what I found. Yeah. And? Do you realize how long it has been since the last time I saw cards in stock? Look, they got that two boxes. I'm gonna do a chest. So that was $25. Yeah, at least you are counting it to your total, dude. I am, absolutely. I think this one's actually pretty nice. I'm going for the sophisticated gamer who's grown up and traded my Mountain Dew in for a Lexus. Everything you buy needs to fit in one single shopping cart. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Got my desk. Do I have to buy posters and use the art inside the poster? Yes. Wait, is there a photo department in this Target? I will print a photo right now. Probably and not. What do you think this is? It's not a CVS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see his plan. I see his plan. Wow, it has a lot of lumbar support. <laughs> it doesn't even fit like, the no. aesthetic of your desk or anything. You didn't look at any other chair. You mean, you mean my white and gold doesn't match coffee brown? No. Fine, Jared, fine. I feel like I'm like setting up a dorm room right now. I didn't even go to college. How does he know what that's like? I've been in dorm rooms before. Not mine. That uh, sounds... Uh, uh, I'm telling Karen! Uh, well, not recently. <laughs> Was this before or after you got married? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The PC section. Here we go. A tankyless Black Widow. 60 bucks for the keyboard, 30 bucks for the Viper Mini. Okay, so I feel relatively good about my setup right now. It's all really built around this gaming laptop. So we've got a 1650 and a i5 10300H. This is only $750. I would actually say that's a fairly good deal. My total after tax, because we're including tax, was $1,289.40. All right, so Walmart has a lot more here than Target. Look at all this decor, immediately way more than Target. I would like to point out the poster frames are clearly sourced from the same place. It's the Target. same one. <laughs> it is the same background. I will actually do the thing that Austin didn't do, which was grab one of the pre-sourced pieces of art. You have to lean into what's available. This is my motivation for what the rest of the room will be like. Oh my God, we got lamps. But we need to bless our home. This one looks like it housed Grandpa Charles. Wow, this one looks like a pineapple. We're gonna have a fruit themed setup today. Okay, we need one accent pillow. Look how cheap that is, $5 for an accent pillow. Austin, you have no idea how happy this makes me feel. You might peg me as the person that buys a lot of things and doesn't think about it, but I think about everything. And- That in, sounds ominous. In this, in this particular case, I'm in it to win it, as usual. All right, so now I am finished. I'm all checked out, got everything I need from Walmart, and my total came out to $975.49. I may or may not have forgotten to buy a chair. I was actually gonna use this stool as a lamp stand, but that's okay. This is now my chair. As you can see, I've already cleaned up. The, uh, the wall looks much better than it did yesterday. I took the liberty of bringing my laptop home last night so it would be completely prepped and ready. For $750, this is a really nice little laptop. I have a 1650 and importantly, I have that gamer aesthetic. Look at how green my RGB is. It fits perfectly with my white and gold aesthetic. Because everyone knows, white, green, and gold, those are the colors of success. How's your setup coming? Uh? Yes, I may or may not have had a little bit of a late night last night, not related to this. Um, that sounds really sus. I have my laptop here. So we've looked at Acer laptops like this for a while. This is the Aspire 5. I think we've looked at a bunch of Aspire 5s in the past. They're really good. I should have them on CPU performance. GPU is another story, um, but I'm not going for a gaming setup. I literally put a lamp together, put a poster in a little frame. Oh, sorry, I have to unbox my speakers. I mean, those are gonna slap. They're gonna slap. We have our own office now. We can play music as loud as we want. No one's here to complain besides Jared. It's funny you talk about being loud in the office. So for those of you that don't know, I have my own channel, youtube.com slash Denki time. And I have this crazy loud speaker. I can be as loud as I want. I've actually been curious. I went outside to see if people can hear it from the outside and you can't. I have a really old Samsung speaker from a video that we did where Austin bought literally every Samsung product in existence. All I have to do is 
hook it up to Bluetooth. Never mind, I lied. I can't do this because my phone is in my car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you set it up! I did. You got everyone so hyped about the new Denki set, and then you're like, oh, I can't show it. My phone's not here. Damn. I keep leaving it in the car. What's, uh, what's going on? So, situation update. You accidentally locked yourself out of your setup. Well, I'm sorry that you didn't go through all of your keys to figure out what's what. I can see your setup looks great from here. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is that my phone is there, so. <laughs> Ken, you could also just admit defeat and we can end the video right here. I mean, if it means I can go home. I mean. We could literally just break this window. This video is sponsored by Yubico. In today's world, your online security is incredibly important, and the YubiKey is the strongest two-factor authentication out there. I've used them to secure my accounts for years. The Nano has lived in my laptop since 2018, and I always keep the NFC YubiKey on me for access anywhere. Unlike relying on two-factor codes via SMS, which can be vulnerable, or mobile apps to keep your account secure, the YubiKey is dead simple. Hundreds of accounts allow you to add one or more of the hardware-based keys as an additional layer to protect you even in the event of a password breach. There's just nothing to it. When it comes time to log in, all you need to do is press the key or tap the NFC version on the back of your phone and you are good to go. Whether it's a Google account, email, password manager, or crypto wallet, you should absolutely have two-factor authentication enabled, and hardware-based YubiKeys are, for me, a complete no-brainer. They have the YubiKey 5 and also a new series, the Security Key, which I'm really excited about. Not only are they compact and easy to take with you, but also they're really affordable, starting at only $25. You can get yours by using my code AUSTIN5 to get $5 off any Security Key Series Key or YubiKey 5 Series Key. Check them out, the link in the description, and huge shout-out to YubiCo for not only sponsoring this video, but for protecting my accounts. So while we wait for Jared to get back with tools to break into Ken's office, Matt, would you like to take a look at my wonderful setup? I have a feeling I'm gonna be underwhelmed. This, okay, is my expert gaming setup. This beauty, direct from Target. I'm gonna give you credit. Just <gasps> in, initial initial thoughts. This is the first time that I think you've actually made a setup. That's, Wait, that's, that's the whole- That's the level of credit I'm giving you. Also, I got I'm you some Pokemon sure. cards. Uh, to open on camera, because I I value your opinion. Here we have visual proof that Austin is bribing me, FYI. Oh, did I forget? I unfortunately left a weird date on there. Oh, Matt, what's that date again? Is that the date of the first episode of This Is? Oops! I think it's um, the first time he's ever remembered This Is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 weird! <laughs> well, how did that get there? Oh. How long have we been doing Bro vs. Bro? Two, Many three years. years. I like that you finally learned how to play the game. This isn't even a broke versus pro. Can you take a guess at how much it cost? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fifteen hundred bucks. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ding you that this chair is way too high for this desk. Um, I was hoping you wouldn't notice that. <laughs> when see when it's it fits. Uh, had you gone to college, you would have known. In the target aisle, there's over by the bedroom section our desk risers, a handful of mattress risers, cost about 10 bucks for a four pack. Sometimes. But Matt, I was so enamored by my color coordination of my runner. I, I will give you the, uh, the runner looks great. It does look great. Okay, that's my afro. Look at those eyes. Look at that frame rate, Matt. That's like 100 frames per second, probably. This is not terrible, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, Jared, you've come to save the day. These are keys. <laughs> you need found... to unlock the door. Ready? What? No. You, is this how you do this? I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wish we faked this for drama, but it's not drama really, it's just stupidity that we're dealing with right now. Yeah, you don't have the key uh, to I need any you, of I, the things in your own come down. You locked the door! So like, I dude. Did, I closed the door. Can you do it from right here? Thus locking it. All right, so I had to rush it a little bit, but here is the setup. So I'm gonna already just amazingly give you points. The security that was here, we it took us a while to get quite in yeah, here. Yeah, no, it's it's like, it's basically Fort Knox. Also, it's my son. You got a map of the world? I do. Look, we are right here. Can you believe it? So I'm noticing one thing. There is no chair for. So about that, uh, as usual, Austin wants to rush through shoots. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We had a stool but I forgot to pick up an actual chair. This is like every problem you've had today, you blamed on me somehow. Yeah, because yeah. we you rushed the shoot. Yeah. I was literally at the end of the day. Did I rush your door being locked? How is this still somehow more comfortable <laughs> than Austin's? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I love this painting. It's good, right? Out of curiosity, what are you doing with that after? You can have it. 
I kind of want that. You have anything? Like that? Is, I like that. That's yeah. art. Uh, I do think maybe you should have hung the the painting. I, I actually, I mean, maybe this is just personal preference. I actually like leaning stuff, but or like I don't like where it is. So just looking at this, this looks like it's a cheaper setup than uh, Austin's. It is by a lot. I'm gonna say, so yours was twelve hundred. Yeah. Seven hundred. 950. 950, okay. Yeah. I am gonna be leaning on Xbox Game Pass. Here's the thing, my setup was Wait. 900, my setup was 950 bucks, but I forgot to buy a controller. All right, so I'm gonna round you up to 1,000. No, right. no, round me up to 1,000, but here. What? This is cheating. I, I was missing things for my setup too, and I just had to go without. So it is a little, there's a little latency. Yeah, little latency kinda. there, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn that down just a tad. Ooh, that audio sounds a little choppy. A little this stuff. is, this is, uh, oh, 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 woof. All right, so this is definitely one of the harder challenges that we've had. This isn't like Micro Center where it's like no one has access to these things. This is Target, Walmart. Everyone has access to these. This is a very obtainable setup. I'm gonna say first, from aesthetics, I'm going with Ken's. Ken's felt cozier, but you were not far off. Yeah. There's, there's character development here though. <laughs> like actually. Like he built something. I yeah. did. Game ability, I gotta give it to Austin. I very comfortably played GTA on here. No problems whatsoever. I will admit that even in the best case scenario, my system is not as good as something that has yeah. a dedicated GPU in it. So we are tied one to one. So really what it's coming down to with you guys is ergonomics. I'm pretty sure he wins on ergonomics, right? I was gonna say you both do really bad on ergonomics. <laughs> like, I wish you would have spent literally like a folding chair, either one of you. You know, the funny thing is that he actually had one in his cart and we bullied him out of it and he bought that one <laughs> yeah, instead. Jokes aside, yeah. I have to give this one to Austin. The overall, really? the overall, I have to give to Austin. I gotta give it to you because as cool as this looks and as like cozy as this looks, at the end of the day, you can pick that up and you can take it with you to school, to wherever you gotta go. Ken's, you're like, that looks great, but you can't game on it on the go. That makes sense. I don't know if this is conclusive. I think we need to do a second one of these where you guys swap roles. 